candles from Airs of Ziggity, and to go along with the release of our new single, Pablo Sanguel, I thought I'd sort of do a, a rig rundown, show you guys what guitar I'm using and amp and stuff like that, just so you get a sort of feel for why my sound is the way it is. Um, I used a, a Marshall JCM 2000 um, DSL 50 for a long time, um, playing through a, a Marshall 412 flat fronted cab, um, and that was a big basis of my sound for a long time. Uh, but, you know, everything gets stale and everything gets to be typical, shall we say. So I thought to change up my sound a little bit, I should try a new amp. And um, I'm a big fan of Rob Chapman um, and the guys from Door J, and obviously they use Victory amps. So I wasn't 100% on the sound of the like the V30 and stuff like that. Um, but then this came out, the V40, and I thought it sounded absolutely ace. Mick Taylor from Guitarist Magazine, um, who does videos with Daniel Steinhardt from the Gig Rig, um, that pedal show is their YouTube channel, check them out, it's great. He did a demo of one of these just before it was released, and it sounded absolutely insane. I just thought it was the best tone I'd ever heard. Um, and so from that point on, I thought, I have to get one of these. Um, I eventually got one last year, about May of last year. And I did, I did try out the V30 as well in the store. But to me, this just sounds great. On its own, without any pedals or anything, it's quite a clean amp. It's got a lot of clean headroom, if you want that. It is quite a, a fendery sounding amp. But once you've had some pedals, just like a like Hot Rod DeVille or something like that, it sounds absolutely amazing. So I'll, I'll just run through some sounds. Um, obviously this is a 2007 Gibson Les Paul Standard. Uh, I've had this guitar since 2008, so nine years now. And it's my number one main go-to guitar. I use it on everything. I absolutely love it. Um, on the floor, I've got my gigging pedal board, which is, the signal path is straight into a Vox V847 wire pedal, which is absolutely great sounding wire pedal. I prefer it to the Crybaby. I think it's not quite as shrill on the top end. It's got more of that sort of mid-rangey vocal sweep on it. That goes into a Joyo Vintage Overdrive. Now, Joyo, if you're not familiar with them, are a really affordable pedal company. Um, it's all made in China, but I think it was 40 quid, and it is an amazing pedal. It's a tube screamer clone, basically, is what it is. That goes into a Tone City Dry Martini. Once again, it's a Chinese-made pedal. Um, Anderton's are the exclusive UK dealers for them. That's supposed to be like a clone of a full-tone OCD, and it's got a really nice, sort of sparkly... Clear, uh, transparent overdrive, really nice. That goes into a Tone City once again Golden Plexi, which is supposed to be like a sort of Marshall in a box sound, and it really does deliver on that. It's a bit all or nothing. Um, I have the tone, the sorry, the volume of the chain knobs really far down because any more than sort of nine o'clock and you're getting a lot of gain. Um, that's into an Electroharmonic Soul Food, which is touted as a Clon Centaur copy, which, as most of you will know, that's a really sought-after boutique overdrive pedal. They go for thousands of pounds, which is ridiculous. And I've seen some back-to-back -back videos, and these obviously they don't sound as good, but the Soul Food's a pretty decent pedal. Um, that's into a Boss CS3 Compression Sustainer. Which I don't use loads, but for some of our older songs from one from our older sets, we um, had a song where I did a tapping solo, and it's great for tapping because I'm not that great at it. It sort of evens everything out and makes me sound better than I am a talent pedal. That's fed into a wait, another Joyo pedal, the Voodoo Octave, which is a fuzz but with uh, an octave, octave on it as well, so it adds that 
upper octave Jimi Hendrix type sound which is awesome um, into a Dan Electro Cool Cat vibe which is like a uni vibe style pedal with those swirly cool tones and then that goes into my radial Twin City AVY pedal which I sometimes I, I always use it's great to have in the in the loop in the on the board I mean it's got a ground lift which is just indispensable sometimes because sometimes you turn up to a gig you get yourself all set up and plugged in and then you turn your amp on and you just get that horrible 60 hertz hum from your amp if you're plugged into output B on this and you flip that ground lift switch it's gone that's worth the price that I paid for the pedal on its own running to the loop of the amp I've got another Joyo pedal the DC which is a digital delay but it's got two channels so you can have two presets on it so one I use for my lead just like a, a slight slap back to give that sort of thicker fatter lead tone and then the other preset I use for some ambient type parts in some of the songs um, if that goes into the good old V40 which is into a Sub-Zero 2x12 open back cab this is Gear for Music's own brand um, it's got eminent speakers in it and I think it was £110 and it just sounds absolutely ace for a, a budget cab it means I don't have to look the Marshall 4x12 around anymore and it, it just sounds epic so what I'll do is I'll just show you um, my clean tone and then I'll switch in a few of the pedals and see what you guys think so here's my clean tone just straight into the, uh, the V40 I've got it I've got the gain, quite a lot of the gain dialed in to be fair, but it's quite clean amp, so it only gives you like a sort of slightly crispy crunch, it's not what I would call a gain amp at all without any pedals. <laughs> Screamery-esque sound, quite powerful in the mid-range, um, great for just adding that nice bit of overdrive to, to a clean tone like this. It's, it's a sort of pedal that screams for a tone like this. <laughs>
a lot of thumping low end, which is it's great for rhythm work. The Golden Plexi is basically a Marshall in a little box. It, it can transform any tone into a nice sort of JCM 800 type tone. It's, listen to the clean tone again. And now with the Golden Plexi. Away from the picking in some ways, no matter 
soft you pick, it'll still maintain a similar sort of level, which is great for some passages, but not great for expressive lead playing. Um, after that we've got the Voodoo Octave, which is like I said, a, a fuzz, and it's got the um, Octave, like the, like the Jimi Hendrix Octavia type pedal. So I'll give you a quick demo of that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So the last pedal I'll show you is the um, the wah pedal. It's it's a wah pedal, but it's an ace wah pedal. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.